Well, we did a werewolf tag. Why not do a vampire tag? Hit the button. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey there, hi there, ho there, Andrew here, the horror host of Generations X, Y, and Z, Inside Davis Matter, with a vampire tag, thanks to Carnage Candy. Link in the description. Check out her uh, channel, and subscribe like I did. You will find a whole bunch of really cool videos, and uh, Carnage Candy came up with the vampire tag, which is a little bit of a variation of Queenie Beast's werewolf tag. Some of the similar questions, a couple things a little bit different, obviously, because we're talking about vampires. But before we begin with that, let me give a shout out to the patrons of the channel. This here is a list of all the patrons of the channel right now, and they are pledging their financial support, and you too can join the show. All you have to do is tap the link above, or you can go ahead and tap the link in the description or the link at the end of the video. Now, what do you do when you become a patron? Well, you do a couple of different things. Obviously, you can pledge your financial support, and that is the best way to help out this channel grow. Uh, but also, the patrons are a sounding board. I go ahead and I uh, leave a polls on the, the Patreon feed. I talk to uh, everybody uh, when I can via email, uh, video, group chat, uh, things like that. Uh, I use use everybody as a sounding board, basically, is, is, is what I'm saying. I, I come up with a couple of different ideas. I'll put up a poll and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, what do you think? And then they make the decision. And there are a lot of times that uh, the, the patrons have made a decision that has become uh, a permanent fixture with the channel, like Walker Wednesday. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and get into the first question now of the vampire tag. And the first question is, what is your favorite vampire film and why? Well, that's starting off with a really good question. My favorite vampire film right now is The Lost Boys. And it has been The Lost Boys for a long time. Now, why? Well, if you haven't seen The Lost Boys, then that question is valid. If you have seen the Lost Boys, you don't need to ask that question why. It is just a really good film. It is kind of a coming-of-age uh, story uh, for uh, uh, teenagers and, and everything uh, that is so not Twilight. So not Twilight. Uh, and, and that alone makes it a good movie. Uh, it's, it's an older uh, film, obviously. There are a couple of different actors that you will notice in there. The Corey's, uh, Corey Haim uh, is, uh, is one... Um, and uh, what's, what's Corey Feldman is the other. Uh, Corey, the Corey Haim uh, is is more of the protagonist of like the the story from point A to point B. Corey Feldman is a supporting character, but you've got other people that are in there that are just rock solid. Kiefer Sutherland as David, probably one of the best vampires out there. Really good. The second question is, are vampires better than werewolves? In a fight, I'm going to say no. Werewolves would thrash. Vampires like crazy and just rip them up. Um, however, vampires are, I think, more powerful in the realm of manipulation, uh, able to live among humans, things like that. Though werewolves can get around during daytime, so it's a little give and take on there. Uh, but I'm going to say, um, in a fight, no. But maybe living among the living? Living among the living? You can't really live among the living if you're undead. But yeah. Next question, who's the most brutal vampires in a film? Wow, okay, who's the most brutal? I, I guess you're talking like a group then, who is the most brutal. And I will say the feeding scene in Lost Boys uh, on the beach, that is just rough. And that is, I mean, if you've ever opened up a soda and soda shoot out, you'll know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that scene. Um... Though I will say, uh, probably as a group of vampires, uh, the most intimidating and brutal uh, that I can think of recently, uh, I shouldn't say recently, but um, would be the 28 Days, uh, 28 Days of Nights. The, those vampires, they're, they're rough, man. They're mean. I like them. Which leads to the following question, favorite vampire transformation? Well, that's not really a question. That's more of a statement like name 
your favorite vampire transformation. And I will have to say, it is a German film. I think it came out in 2010. Uh, it's called We Are the Night. And holy moly, is this transformation scene really good. There is a main character. Her name's Lena. And uh, she's all messed up, uh, you know, gashes and, 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 and everything. And she is about to transform. And she's going into a bathtub. And obviously, with most transformations, you see the wounds getting healed, which happens in here. And the, the special effects is really good on there. Uh, they, they use some CGI and they blend it very smoothly. However, she's getting into the bathtub, so the blood is kind of like dissipating and washing off. So it's a nice blend there. But the thing that gets me is they do a side shot of her going underneath the water. All right, so you kind of see her under the water. And everything you see the the blood like dissolve as she's getting healed but her hair which is black uh hair dye um dissolves as well so you can see her natural hair color on there which i thought was a really cool effect because uh in in most uh vampire lore you are starting back at at scratch you're you're, you're going back to your normal state okay so uh another scene in it that i think is just great is she has a tattoo around her navel and the tattoo dissolves as well because she is becoming a vampire and she is losing her earthly body into her vampire body and I never would have thought that in a, a vampire movie I would just I just wouldn't have thought of tattoos dissolving and when a movie catches you off guard like that man Rock solid. Next question. What is the silliest, worst vampire film you've seen? Without a doubt, the silliest and worst movie that I've ever seen, vampire movie, is Dracula, Dead and Loving It. Oh, if I could only get that that time back. Following question, best vampire comedy or parody? Well, I'm going to have to say I'm going back to 1985 on this one, and that is a movie that is called Once Bitten, and it stars Jim Carrey. Man, that is a good comedy vampire flick. That is just fun. If you have not seen it, watch it. If you've seen it, watch it again. And then tell me down in the comments, man, Andrew, you are right. That is one funny movie. And the last question is, who is your fave vampires, real or fictional or both? Well, I'm going to have to go uh, to the 1600s. Actually, late 1500s, early 1600s. There is a... Uh, uh, a real person, uh, Countess Elizabeth Bathory, I think is how you say her last name. Uh, Bathory, Bathory, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Hungarian royal family member. Really, really cruel woman. I mean, cruel woman. She took like female servants and like drenched them in water and then had them go outside in the winter and freeze to death. What? I mean, that just weird, weird, sick individual um she was eventually tried in the early 1600s if i remember correctly she had like they they think she had somewhere around 650 uh victims they were all women too uh if i remember correctly um but she was charged for like only 80 uh counts of of murder oh, only uh but what she was most famed for and what has transpired in, in art after in, in film and everything is she would, um, I want to say they did this in a hostile movie. I think, I think they did that. In a, I think it was hostile. Uh, basically the countess would take, uh, a, a servant or somebody, uh, actually it wasn't really servants. She had servants that helped her, uh, with it, but, she uh, she would take uh, a young woman and she would be in a bathtub and she would kill the, the woman above her and let her blood drain on top of the countess's body because she believed it had regenerative abilities. Sicko! Uh, you know, uh, I would say. And I, I do think that that happened. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you know what I'm talking about, it did that happen in a hostile movie? Leave a comment down below. And tell me which which one it was. And if it wasn't a hostile movie, what, what movie was it? That is going to bug me. I got to know. I just got to know. So with that, there are my answers. 
uh, for the vampire tag. So do you agree with me or disagree with me? Go ahead, leave a comment down below, and remember, like, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell icon so you get notified the moment I upload, and I will see you in the next video.